biggest lie of my life, yeah. Well, that Kane and Kane Undertaker are not brothers. brothers. And that yeah. Undertaker pushed Kane onto, um, like, he burned his house down or some shit. And he left Kane in there. And that's why he's wearing a mask, because his face got burnt. Yeah, man. Is that not true? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yes, guys, don't say titty talk, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> titty talk. <laughs> that should be a sound bite. Yes, guys, welcome to Time Talk. Another episode where we're helping, helping you through quarantine. Quarantine. Let's introduce I hope your quarantine one. is going well, by the way. Yeah, Because we're recording all this safe. once. Yeah, man, stay stay safe. Yeah. Be productive. Try read, man, because I know some of you, man, d- couldn't read in school, man. I'm no, pro- no, I'm, I'm provoked, fam. bro. I, <laughs> when I was in year six, I had a reading age of fifteen. You know, of a what? Of fifteen. When I was in year six. All right, well done. <laughs> um, what are we talking about today? Oh yeah, we're joined by two special guests. So yeah, you got myself, Kyojin, AB, co-host. Um, yep, and we are we're joined by Lasko. I'm a boy. Landlord. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. We're joined by my boy landlord. <laughs> 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 But yeah, in this week's episode, we're going to be talking about... We're taking it back to the old days, the good old days, when you had no worries in life. You came home, you put on Sky, Sky One, was on Sky One? Sky One. was I forgot what the intro was in it, of the actual, like, the theme song. Oh, I can't remember either. Yeah. I like the 2009, like, Raw. We're, guys, we're going to be talking about WWE. WWE. Wrestling, wrestling, wrestling in general, yeah. but ma- mainly WWE, because that WWE. was where it was at. Who's your favorite wrestler of all time? Mine, yeah, personally. So, okay, so when oh, I was, oh, oh, I'm looking at you, are you cross eyed? I can't tell you what you're looking for. <laughs> Laska, why are you laughing? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Sound like beefy, but you know, from Howard Henry. Oh, I don't know, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Ah, I sh- like Let me get the mic next to me. First of all, yeah, your tits is piercing through that shirt. Your tits are lactating as you speak, right? Nah, now. bro, your tits are touching the floor, <laughs> fam. What are you talking about? Why are your tits soaking for? These man told Yo, me not to. Up, bro. These man told me not to introduce us. Titty talk, and now you. What <laughs> you, you talking about? Titty talk about titties <laughs> straight away, fam. So as far as tits are cross-eyed. Bro, your nipples got like three, three eyes in them, bro. <laughs> what is no sense? Yeah, Let's go. His nipples got serial code in them. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, like push these album cover. <laughs> what is it? Your nipples got flipping braille on them, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we talking about nipples? Know, fam, is this, is this fat what is going on, no, man? Go on, go on, go on. I don't even want to talk about wrestling with you. You're moving sus as well. Who's your thing? Man, your favorite. Your favorite wrestler. Your favorite, favorite, well, you favorite wrestler is Rikishi, I like. Yeah, when he did that kiss my ass club. <laughs> that's, what, that's when he got into his ass eating days. That's <laughs> sus. Oh, yeah, go on, go on. Who's your no, favorite wrestler? When I was a kid, yeah, so we didn't have Sky. So I used to just watch WWE on YouTube in it, but the, yeah, same. The, the channel that we did have was called like TWC, the wrestling channel in it, yeah. and TNA used to come on it. I used to love AJ Styles, fam. I think still think he's baby as well. I don't know if you. I thought he was kind of watched when he came into WWE. Nah, bro, he got a massive pop. Like the fans went crazy. He's sick now to this day. He had a yeah. fight. He had a, a match with Undertaker recently. Undertaker still alive. It was his retirement match. I can't lie. I haven't watched um, uh, wrestling yet since uh, Undertaker lost his streak, you know. Oh. When Brock Lesnar beat him, I was heartbroken. I was so heartbroken. I hated I- Brock Lesnar that day. Yeah, man. same. Because all these rumors were coming out that he like went against the script and I like, broke Undertaker's back or some shit like Is that. It? But I don't know if it's true though. That's the only thing. Undertaker's a fragile guy anyway, man. He's a, He's been through a lot though. Like all those like tombstones, yeah. You know that hurts his back. Yeah. His hurt, hurts his knees and stuff. Stuff. That don't's a pension, I Why is he still wrestling, man? He's finished now. You know, his name is Mark. Yeah. What a dickhead. Mark how's Cal- your, how's your name? Mark Callahan I'll, or something like that. What a waste, man. At least have something that's a mad name, like, I don't know. Bro, if he didn't choose his name, his parents gave him his name. Nah, man. Fuck his parents, man. <laughs> next thing you hear, like, dung. <laughs> it's a smoke he just, spoon, he just spoons. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, what, who's your favorite? What, you say your favorite wrestler is AJ, AJ Styles? Outside of the WD, WWE. WD what? Uh, WWE. Yeah. Inside WWE, it's between. I obviously have to go mainstream in it, like between The Rock and uh, Stone Cold. Who's better though? As a wrestler, The Rock. Uh, no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. Uh, sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, Stone Cold. Yeah. On the mic, I don't. I think Rock is unrivaled on the mic. Maybe him and John Cena. John Cena is crazy on the mic. John Cena is a nuts. John Cena carried WWE for time. Yeah, for time. When, when Attitude Era left, yeah, it was he John carried Cena. Carried it for yeah. time. Yeah, true. Who's your favorite wrestler? Well, 
I'd start from early, innit? So obviously I'd say The Rock because he's literally the, like my first guy I was actually like supporting and stuff. Like I was watching it basically for The Rock, innit? Is it? Yeah, because yeah. like obviously most, like most I feel like Rock. I feel like The Rock's a punk. He was punk, like the you know? first guy that everyone. Can like, I tell rocked, you why? Yeah. yeah. The Don came. When, do you remember um, the, the Rock's WWE um, debut? It was Rocky Martin. Do you remember his walk out, fam? That bastard came in all smiley, yeah, with his fucking dead hair now, yeah. Thinking, oh yeah, everyone's gonna like him. But we got booed, he, he got booed, fam. Then 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 he came out, then he came out, like then he came out, yeah. I think he must have went away, he came back and he's he turned heel, that's why. Like some like some G. Yeah, because he's a G. No, he's not. You can't come out with smite G. You should have seen the cheesy smile that yeah, he had when bro, he was. You, you know when he came out first, yeah? And even when he came out the second time, yeah. Do you think that's a real reflection of who he is? I don't care, man. Every come time out. they're acting, bro. How did Undertaker come out? How did Kane come out? Und- how did, how did Stone Cold come out? Undertaker didn't come out as Undertaker. How did Stone Cold? How did he come out? Undertaker as? didn't come out as Undertaker. He, came, as, he come, came out as like Mark Callahan. Oh, he's always man. And that's what that's why Mark, you know, when, when he when he came to WWE, <laughs> Vince was like, "Yo, change up your thing." Yeah. I'm gonna how did Stone Cold come in? Stone Cold came as the ringmaster, fam. What? He had blonde hair, looked like um, what's that? Bruce Willis guy. In six Bruce, Bruce he, had, he had blonde hair, bro. Like, yeah. So he's screaming the rock, yeah. Over, over Stone Cold. It's a tough choice, man. Stone Cold was a legend, didn't it? Me, Stone Cold. Also, man. Stone Cold. I don't know. I'm Muslim, and he seems kind of racist. I feel like he would hate me still. Huh? I feel like Stone Cold would hate so me. So would the Undertaker. Huh? So would the Undertaker. Yeah, that's why I don't fuck with them, man. Especially Undertaker when he when he had the bandana with the bike on that. Or the, you'll definitely the, get American you're, badass. Yeah, you're you're, you're definitely getting he's a, like a crossbow. Rolling, rolling, rolling. That was hard. That was one of his yeah, hardest bro, entries. You know? the bike, yeah. You know? Nah, but to be honest, yeah, the same thing happened with me. Like obviously, AJ Styles was, was my guy in it, and then I think when I got older, well, he's a bridging. Yeah, but well, we go back in the day, man. Like a hairline. You talking about my hairline? Bro. My hairline's Chris. You talking about my hairline? My hairline. They will see. They will see when the video. My hairline's calm. You cross-eyed bitch, man. Get out of here. Don't look at my titties out. I'm not looking at titties out. <laughs> I don't know where you're looking. I'm looking at your tits. Okay. I'm joking. Anyway. I'm, I'm talking to your tits. Your tits talk to everyone. <laughs> your, your tits got a separate ID. Your tits are hugging you, fam. <laughs> what does that even mean, fam? Your tits no, like a backpack, fam. <laughs> <laughs> no, look at oh, this is actually titty talk. <laughs> that is this funny. Is actually titty Why talk. <laughs> Why did it say backpack as well? <laughs> so the front is too much like the back beams. I was so stupid. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait. Where the fuck were we, bro? <laughs> yeah, I was on my AJ Styles fam, yeah. yeah. That was my idol, innit? And then when I grew up, yeah, bro, I've seen on, him on Twitter liking Islamophobic stuff. Oh, is it? Kind of broke my heart. <laughs> <laughs> this is confirmed that Kyojin is a Buddhist. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. Man. Now, the 2004, 2005, 2006 era was sick. Rey Mysterio, John Rey Mysterio, yeah. I think 2006 when Rey Mysterio won the Royal Rumble, like. I think so. Oh, I think so. I, I ain't even got stats like that, you know. <laughs> you nah, know he did. He won the Royal Rumble. Remember. He won the Royal Rumble one time. Well, I, mean, I like. Him. Trust me. We used to come out like Boyaka, Boyaka. Yeah, no, no, nine, everyone, yeah. everyone liked or likes Rey Mysterio. That's my number. Oh yeah, yeah that was sick, bro. That, no, Rey Mysterio was hard, man. Remember his bedri- brethren, um, Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero, your RIP. I man. like I cheat, I steal. Yeah. But it's mad, you know how they kind of obviously at the time they were they were using wrestlers. To portray Mexican and Latino people as criminals. When you actually deep it, yeah, all these. I don't know why we're going into deep shit right now, but. Oh, please, man. It's just one episode, man. Please, man. <laughs> we spoke about so much. Well, that's a, well, that's a bummer, isn't it, mate? <laughs> all right, we'll go with. Who was that one wrestler you used to hate? Yeah, I used to hate. Yeah. Shame it, man. He's hard. All right, there's something about it. Just, I feel like his face is just so punchable. Oh, the way like, there was a match where he was playing Undertaker. Yeah, I used to hate the Great Carly as well. You know, Indian. with his fat chin. <laughs> <laughs> no, I used to hate uh, fucking Boogeyman, fam. The guy used to come out with worms, blood eating worms. Were they real? Oh, yeah, they were real worms. Do you know Just how much that is? Tapped. Where is he from? Like ethnicity? Bro, who's gonna eat worms? Tell me. Sri Lankans. <laughs> White guys, obviously. Mm-hmm. White people, innit? I saw he was of color. Bro, he was wearing red face paint. Of course he was of colour. What are you talking about? Terrible. Fucking no, but terrible. seriously, he was, I think he's white. Was he white? Boogeyman. I don't know, man. Oh, that's fine. I, I, I remember he's... I, 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 I
Young JB put up. I just remember him like just spawning with a clock and worms in his mouth, fam. Yeah, man, he was weird, fam. I hated him so much, the boogeyman. His name is Martin Wright. Martin Wright, Phoenix, Martin Wright. Arizona. He's still eating worms, fam. Who are? Yeah, he had one of the scariest like, uh, intros. intros as well. I am the boogeyman. <laughs> I used to get so. I used to get scared of him. Yeah, I'm, I'm still scared of the piggy man. I was a, I was a little bit scared of Kane, you know, when he had the mask on. Mask Kane is probably the scariest. He was like, scary as hell, man. All, all time. He was hella the scary. The biggest lie of my life, yeah. Was that Kane, Kane and Undertaker, Undertaker are not brothers, and that yeah. Undertaker pushed Kane onto um like he burned his house down or some shit, and he left Kane in there, and that's why he's wearing a mask because his face got burnt. Yeah, man. Is that not true? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I believe that for like 10 years man. Yeah, I believe yeah, that same. I believe that till now bro <laughs> Man said it's not true I, I, I genuinely thought they were brothers you know? I thought they were brothers as well Because I don't know They had the same like build And they, they were both, both fucking wide. bookie now we gotta get Well the yeah brothers, They come from they, they both said they came from the underworld Or some shit like that Looking back That that's some Some mad satanic shit you know Yeah bro it was mad You know what he used to like When Kane with his entrance And he comes in the middle and then the, the, the flames just come out on the sides. Yeah, it's yeah. hard. I, I it's think hard. I think Undertaker has the hardest entrance ever. It's so simple, yeah. But as soon as like the smoke comes. And the lightning yeah, and that. Dung. Yeah. And then, do, 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 do. Yeah. Yeah. And he walks so slowly. And then when he takes off his hat, he's fucking, yeah. he's like his orgasm. Yeah. What a guy. What a guy. What the hell was that? So he does so. <laughs> yeah. What a guy, fam. Let's go. We need to go. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, <man>. Girl. <laughs> um, I don't lie. Batista's was your favorite intro, bro. You know who? You know had a, who? Had, you know who had a sick um, intro? You know? You know? Yeah. You know had a sick intro. Israel did that. Oh, what's that guy? But he used to come out and then he used to do. He's a shadow box in like the, the sprinklers, fam. What's that guy's name? Goldberg. Goldberg. Goldberg had a had a hard he's, hard. That's where his entrance was from the locker room, like some like the police would come and knock on his locker room and they would escort him to the to the thing. Like his oh, entrance would start. I remember him walking and he just comes out of like this fucking because he would have he would have his own room and say Goldberg in it. Someone come knock on it and they would escort him. He would come like they would show him coming out to the ring. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't remember that actually. I don't know why I said yeah. I was just agreeing <laughs> with you. <laughs> but bro, yeah. I, I'm, I I remember my some of my favorites was you know the Hardy Boys. Yes, of course. Oh, I it's come with like the, yeah. the thing. They had, they had me like, like in punk shit. Like, yeah. full, like, yeah, the full skank. I used to try to bust out of your... The whole thing like that. Yeah. <laughs> that guy was actually a bit crazy though, wasn't it? Yeah, like, you know, he, had, he had drug problems. You like know, there's that. one match here where like, I think when he went to TNA, innit? Yeah, it's in TNA. I he came, I he came out to the match here and he was gone. I think I, I think I watched a YouTube video, but I'd, obviously I didn't. I yeah, didn't he was gone, gone, innit? And then someone, I think he was fighting Sting, innit? Yeah, yeah. And then someone came to the... The guy who organized the whole thing, he came out and said, like, we had an issue in it. Then he whispers to Sting, like, oh, yo, he's he's hella drunk, he's hella high. Just finish it off now. Like, off his head. like he, even, even when he was getting hit, he didn't know what was going on. Yeah, like, basically, Sting was pinning him in it. And he tried to get up, and then Sting had to, like, forcefully keep him on the ground to end the match in it. And it lasted four seconds. Yeah, yeah. And, they said and one of his downfalls. Well, the whole match lasted four yeah, seconds. Yeah, because he was, cause he was too, because, you know, if you're that yeah. intoxicated, imagine doing stuff like Swanton Bomb off the yeah, top yeah, rope, bro. Yeah. Yeah, and so, especially with do what Jeff Hardy does. Yeah, any any of the moves that he does. He and then TNA really was TNA out. was more extreme as well. And then so when he's leaving, yeah, Sting was leaving the ring in it, and all the fans are saying that was bullshit. That was like a shit in it because it, it's a hyped match. It was the main event in it, lasted four seconds, and then Sting goes, "Yeah, I'm pissed off as well." Like he said it on camera to the fans, like that was it was wet. That's what I'm mad. Sings the guy with the white face, you know, like. Yeah, have you seen that? There's that one where he's like wearing a sting mask from the ceiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one where he's wearing oh, a sting yeah. mask. Yeah, he, he takes it off, off yeah. and he's got the sting face paint on. It's just him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of uh, face masks, no one mentioned mankind. Oh, That's Mick Foley. Oh, shit. I used to think that was Kane when I was growing up. You know. It's yeah, sometimes I thought it was like his fat brother, innit? <laughs> I, can't, I can't lie, yeah. The brother that got away from the fire, like. I, I was confused between Mankind and Mick Foley. I thought there was two different people. Right? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, boy? Are they two different people? <laughs> they are. I remember oh, he Mick used to, Foley used I, to be mad. Was it him that used to come with the sock, fam? Yeah, yeah and he used yeah. to put used it to in the mouth. Like, oh, yeah. and I, I used to think these men get knocked out by putting a sock in their mouth. Yeah. You know he used to be mad. He used to jump off like cage. Like, him and Undertaker, Hell in the Celting. Yeah. 
They actually got serious injuries from that. Yeah, I can't yeah. remember seeing an injury report for uh, Mankind when he got thrown off the cage yeah. at the top. Like he has, he, so he has no bones. teeth, you know. Like even now when he's commentating, this guy's got no teeth. So he's picking he's at me? For real. What, the Don's got bare peas, man. To get some dentures or some he's, shit, he's, man. He speaks like this. I think because obviously he was like old school, innit? It might have been before the money came into the business. So he might not oh, have made so as much paid. money as these men are now. So you got Dana White. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Could be in it. Could be in it. But I remember, do you guys remember those days, yeah, where they used to have like the Hardy Boys, Edge and Christian, and the Dudley Boys, and they used to have like some mad ladder match. Yeah. Bro, those were crazy. You know, th- the things that th- these men were doing, it's just wild, isn't it? Do you remember that episode, yeah, where Edge and Leo, they were beating on stage? The sex celebration fam. Yeah, fam. Do what was what? that even for? It was when um, Ed stole Leo from M- 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 Matt Hardy, yeah? Oh. And then he won like the title or something. And then so he put on to like have a sex celebration and everything. Like there was, a be- there was a bed on stage and everything. Do you know how mad that was, bro? The kids watching this, you know? Yeah. I think that explains a lot, you know? There's was, there was one as well where like um, Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio, they were having a, a match for custody of Rey Mysterio's son. <laughs> oh, that's a vile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh shit! The, the things that, the, I think the wildest thing was when I think it was Vince or Rikishi they had the kiss my ass club. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. Kiss his ass. That's disgusting. And then the Rock made uh, Vince kiss Rikishi's ass. Disgusting. That was his, I thought that was his finisher, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, he used WWE to, used to like just yeah. put people in the corner and sit on their face. That's how he used to be at home, just just <laughs> motor boat the air. Fam, he's like, I wish that was me. <laughs> <laughs> he used to do that your sister, bro. <laughs> What? You used to what? You used to do that on your sister. They were disgusted. It's like some Game of Thrones type beat, bro. Fam, we can't talk about wrestling. I want to talk about Randy Orton, you know? I used to hate I him so hate much. Him, I, no, no, I used to no, hate no, no. him do you know so what I feel, much. Do you know why? Yeah? I feel like yeah, he's like a new era wrestler that fits in like the attitude era. I'm, I, 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 I like just like chatting shit. You know? I just think he's a dickhead. I think yeah, that's, that's, that's the whole thing, thing man. Yeah. The whole point is that like, he's just misunderstood. Like He's just one of those guys. Like he, The guy was psycho, innit? Yeah. That's, that's the reason why we're getting so good. He's like, he's like Michael Jordan, man. Just misunderstood. Richard. Randy Owens, the Michael Jordan of WWE. Shut up, man. I go top five. Who, who, who do you say? To top five what? Wrestlers. I, I don't think I can name it top five. Still. Yeah, I don't think I can. Uh, Stone Cold? Yeah. Stone, Stone Cold. Stone, 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 Stone. Brock Lesnar. Stone Cold, Rock, Brock Lesnar. I'll put Rey Mysterio. Yeah. And Batista. <laughs> Triple H as that? well. Triple H. I would have said Sean Michael. I didn't like Shawn Michaels. Remember, D- remember the DX, yeah? And they used to be like, suck it. Yeah. Can't yeah. watch that stuff as kids, I used you know? I do that for years. And I really yeah. Remember what she doing? Remember primary school, he's doing all the time and getting in trouble. That's what I'm doing. I didn't realise what I was doing. I didn't know I was telling man to suck my dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know that was full till now, you know? <laughs> no, I'm joking, obviously, man. That man were crazy. They used to wild out so much. Do you remember Buried Alive matches and that, bro? Undertaker got Buried Alive. And then yeah. the hand and came, hand came out, yeah. <laughs> The episode ends. That's the greatest shit ever, man. Oh, WWE was so wavy, man. I miss that. Man. Even even nowadays, yeah, it's just obviously now they. Is John Cena still wrestling? He came back for like a weird match in it with there's a guy called The Fiend in it. The Fiend? Yeah, yeah The Fiend Bray Wyatt. The Fiend. Oh, Bray yeah, Wyatt. The Fiend. He, he he was from yeah, well, I don't know something else, though. No? I can't remember, but he's been in there for a long time. WWE. Uh, now he was part of a, a gang or something. Relax, man. The, the Wyatt family. Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, that was his thing. The white family, but he cut them all off and he made made this thing the fiend in it, and uh, he basically has this thing called the Firefly Funhouse. Where no, what like, the fifi 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 in, it, shit. in all his matches, yeah, all the lighting's red in it, and he'll just come out. He'll just come out underneath the ring, from like in the middle. Why of the is ring. he copying Undertaker's thing, man? When did Undertaker come from? Undertaker's out? come up. Uh, he's, uh, no, he he took someone. He was underneath the ring and he took someone into the ring, as in at the bottom of the ring. I'm gonna have to take your word for it. Still, JBL. Is that you talking about? I hate JBL. Fam. I hate JBL as well. <laughs> Who is that prick here? Yeah? He used to come in a mask, like a see-through mask. See-through mask. It was like a see-through mask. It was like here, but it was just like <coughs> like this. It looked like it looked like protective gear. A see-through mask. No, no, that's nothing. I say I say he was like the the, the B-tech, B-tech, B-tech yeah, Rey Mysterio. Yeah. 
Who's the Irish WWE one? Then? Irish one. Hornswoggle. No, no, not Hornswoggle. He's Finley. Finley, bro. Finley, that's Finley yeah. That's my uh, guy. Yeah, 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 I don't know yeah. what two of that guy had, but I need that shit. Do you remember that guy? Mr. Yeah, there was a as well. Is it Kennedy? Mr. Kennedy. Mr. Kennedy. Mr. Kennedy. Mr. Kennedy. Mr. Kennedy. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Kennedy. We had a, a musty chick called Mr. Mr. Kennedy. Mr. Kennedy. Oh, yeah, that's, that's kind of what I used to always think his name was. Yeah, he used to get so vexed, you know, when I used to be like, Mr. Kennedy. I don't know why he was so emotional, you know. He probably didn't know the reference, innit? Take the piss off. Must teach Yeah, must teach you. Yeah, I remember that. I <laughs> saw so you didn't even do maths in high school. You didn't even do that. You was doing high school right now. Get out of here. You was doing high school right now. <laughs> who, else, who else were good, man? Who else were good wrestlers? Man? I'm sure like there's more that we used to read back in the day, man. Yeah, there's plenty, man. Rick Flair. Rick Flair. Nah, I, I hate Rick Flair, you know. Nah, Rick Flair is hard. Rick Flair nah, is hard. I hate Rick Flair, man. You know, I can't lie. I used to read Hulk Hogan, you know. Hulk Hogan, I don't like him either. Mm-hmm. Even my grandma, like, like, grandfather. Like, like, so I yeah, don't know. Yeah, yeah. Their body goes so pink and then their hair stays yellow. Like, they just look like a funny color. <laughs> we'll see them in the room. <laughs> orange all the way, bro. Head and, head and body. No, Hulk Hogan. Yeah, yeah. I, I used to think Hulk Hogan was black, you know. I don't know why. What? Yeah, that's a weird one. Blonde hair. Yeah, just the way you used to speak. Is that like, ironic because it hates them? Yeah. Who's a good wrestler, man? I just can't believe you don't rate The Rock, man. I don't know. I never said I don't rate yeah, But you wouldn't put, put him top five? I wouldn't put. No. I don't know. I don't know. Who's there? I'm, I'm biased in it because I'm team. I'm team Austin in it. Who's there in the era of The Rock? Steve Stone Cold. Yeah, Stone Cold. And, the Rock. and who else? Like, who else was it at Kane, the top? Kane. Undertaker. 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 Triple H. Triple H. Triple H is hard. So when was the next one? Who's that Arab done that was in, T- that was in like ECW? I ain't cheat because I'm like, oh, Sabu. Sabu. That Bro, guy Sabu, this guy, yeah. yeah. I remember on TNA, yeah, they had a match with him and this guy called Abyss. Yeah, 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 and they I had a, they had a, like a thousand tack uh, thing, so they were like they were in a cage, yeah, and then they'll put a sack full of pins in it, mm. and then they have to like pour the pins out onto the floor and basically throw each other on the pins, and it's real pins in it. Yeah, I've seen that. Oh, it's crazy, man. That shit is crazy. It's, it's, um, I've, I can't. I've gone on YouTube, yeah, just searched in like the old school ones, innit? Yeah, like what, what's that? What, the bloodiest match and shit, yeah, like, just because yeah. it's entertaining. What do you think the sickest um, fight type was? Whatever you call it, what ladder match for me personally. Nah, that, um, it's not. What's, it's not Hell in a Cell, is it? Where they get released at a random time. Oh, I need to. Uh, Royal Rumble. Nah, it's not Royal Rumble. They're in a cage, but they're in like. Oh, el- elimination chamber. Elimination yeah, chamber. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a madness. Is sick. That one, that one was a madness. But I can't, um, what's the one with the Hell in nah, Hell in a Cell is sick as well. What's the one where you have to climb out? That was ladder. Nah, the one where you, you, you got steel kids. Steel kids. Steel kids. That's, that's, that, I always thought that was dead, man. Yeah, because you just like climb, just climbing, it. Imagine it. Just milking it every single time. Like, oh, is the guy gonna climb or no? Bro, they used, they used to have a sick one on TNA. Yeah, it was like a, it was like a ladder match in it, but there's no ladders. They because they had a six sided ring in it, yeah, yeah. so they put they put ropes going from each corner of the ring, and you had to climb up the the pillar on each side. Yeah, yeah. and then you have to hold onto like a tight rope in it, and swing your way across to get into the middle, and then take the thing down. And bro, the way that these men used to jump, they used to flag each other off. What is this? What is this? Go eight. Yeah, bro, they used, to, they used to be on there, yeah? And someone will come and fly kick the head off straight from the thing, bro. <laughs> I can't lie. There used to be some mad stuff. Like, before Bear Man used to bleed and that. Yeah, but I'm, I'm glad they... Because obviously, we want Bad entertainment in it, yeah? yeah they but, all got CT, that's the thing. Yeah. Like, you know that... Uh, I saw um, Kurt Angle the other day. I can't remember what he said. I think it was like... He said he took like 60 perks a day. What? Yeah. <laughs> I f- let, let me check. Let me check what he said. Perks, perks, perks. 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 Yeah. He's on the future wave. <laughs> it was some. It was something mad in it, and you can see his face in it because I think the the owner re- overworked them, and they're obviously jumping off shit. So then obviously they have to stick stuff like that. Was he actually an Olympian, or was that just like? Yeah. Well, did he? Did he actually win a gold medal? He cut angle. Yeah. He did. Yeah. In what wrestling? Yeah. Gold. Yeah. yeah. He, did he have one? I swear he had. I swear he had like two. We had one. Was it one? No man, he was on that Henry Sudo wave. No, no. They, just, they just call him Perk Kangol, innit? <laughs> Perk Kangol, yeah. But I can't remember how much it was, yeah. But like, his, his, he was such a weird shape in it. Like, his head was so wham. Kangol was in Warrior, innit? Yeah, warrior? yeah, he was. He was um, Koba. Yeah, yeah. Koba, he was the final, he was the final person to think. He was like the, yeah. yeah. No, no, he was the final guy, G. No, nah, because the, fi- the final was the brothers. Oh yeah, but he was—he seemed like as a top guy, innit? Yeah. yeah. And then uh, the Tom Hardy's win. brother, yeah, Tom Hardy's brother smoked him. Not smoked him, but just about one subbed him. Yeah, subbed him. Innit? Was that Anderson Silva? Chelsea. Oh, that was good. Oh, Chelsea was good in that as well. Man. Yeah, I know Chelsea was 
He won. Yeah, yeah. But then he yeah. lost twice yeah. as well. So like, nah, fuck Chow Chow. Chow 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 uh, apparently he was supposed to uh, John. Yeah, I lie. Um, so Anderson Silva was supposed to fight, go up and fight John Jones, but John Jones didn't want it. And GSP, you know, was that GSP was supposed to go up and fight Anderson Silva, Silva, and GSP didn't want it. That, that was at that time. That was a super fight to me because yeah. yeah. Silva was on his like. They yeah, were, yeah. They were both, they, were, they both were, but they both at that time were the top two like all time. But GSP apparently didn't. Yeah, want I saw it. that recently actually. Yeah, they know it. They know it. They know it. They know it. Well, I always thought GSP would win. But look how big they are. Huh? Look how big they are. I think GSP is too clean. I think his fat IQ is insane. I don't think GSP won against Adesanya. You, against who? Adesanya. Of course, it's too... Huh? Adesanya will knock out GSP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look how big he is. Too, yeah, it's too big, man. Adesanya's I'm only there. saying I'm only saying it because obviously GSP came back and won the middleweight. Against uh, Bisping, like. Yeah. Bisping, like. Bisping has one eye, but he's not huge. Like, he, look how... I, I watched that fight he's, again. Actually, no. Nah, he, he was big, but he was getting pieced up. Was. He, 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 he took a lot of damage. He, 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 you see how shook he was that fight? He was, he was normal. Apparently, Khabib might come back. He's still good to his mum about fur, you know, because his father wanted uh, fur, you know. Yeah. I don't know. It's gonna, it kind of like I, takes away from the retirement. I, I think the, retirement the, the best fight to make a fur, you know, is was a big if, is if Tony Ferguson wins two fights and comes back. Yeah. Who would the two fights be against, though? He has to be something. You gotta go smoke Dan by Hooker, Gage G. Or the, what's it? Bellator guy, Michael Chandler. I think he should fight Chandler or people are saying rematch Gage. I'm thinking now it's going to be the same thing again. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think, I think it's going to be the same thing. Is Poirier and Connors confirmed for January? Yeah, I think it is. Can't fight Poirier. I think it is. Fight Otherwise, the fight that should have actually happened is Poirier and, and, and Tony. That's the perfect fight. That was going to be the cold main, right? Like, on that yeah, card, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. Why didn't that go, go ahead? Dana ain't paying Poirier, yeah, man. That guy's been in the UFC for like 20 plus fights. Many fight of the nights. Yeah. Many fight of the years and he ain't getting Paid, Did you see what he said about um, the interim belt? How Gaethje was disrespected. Yeah, I, I can't lie, yeah. Like Dustin and Gaethje are both my guys, but I kind of agree with Gaethje more. You know, ain't really about. Yeah, it's yeah. just like a dickhead thing to say that you're it's up next. Thing. Like, yeah. I get, I get his point saying, "Oh, yeah, you work for it," but yeah. no, you don't. You don't work for a number one contender, number one contender spot. Yeah. You work for to become the champ. Yeah, yeah. And I like the way he's. he's it's basically what well, Gaethje done is a dig at Tony as well, saying like he's carrying around some fake. Interim belt from four years ago, three years ago. Someone and it's the old shape, it's the old player as well. It's someone the old player. Someone was taking a piss about that. I think it's Dan Hardy. Yeah, Dan Hardy was saying it. Yeah. He's always taking a piss at uh, Tony Ferguson. Everyone takes a piss at Tony Ferguson. Like, he's, he's done out. The funniest bit about Tony Ferguson is when you put that fake interim belt down next to you when he faced up with Khabib. Khabib, yeah, and, and then he kicked, kicked it. Yeah. And then he's telling Khabib, put your one down as well. And then and then in the interview after, he's like, oh, what did you feel when Khabib kicked it away? And he's like, oh, I was just sizing Khabib down for a take down or something. Just trying to shit. <sighs> He's trying shit, know. man. But yeah, enough of it. Hey, Silver came back to fight again. Yeah, that shit was sad, man. He but went outside. Did you see it? Uh, he got dropped yeah, twice, and then the second time he actually got... I mean, he, went out, he, went outside, he went outside against Izzy. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, he well, he ran the distance with Izzy, and you're all whole finished three, it. Three rounds. With Izzy? Yeah. Can't have been. I don't think it was a main event. It wasn't a championship. It wasn't a championship fight. It was a main event, though, I swear. What was it? It was a main event, though. That's the thing. I think it was one of the special fights because someone pulled out. Who pulled out? With? Oh yeah, I don't know. Someone What's it called? Out. No, no, I think maybe Izzy stepped in. I can't remember, man. No, it was somebody pulled out though. Against Izzy? No, not against Izzy. He was he was on the uh, co-main, I think. Well, was that a replacement for Whitaker and Gastelum? Is that what it was? No, there was another. There was another. Yeah, it was that. Is it? it was Gastelum and yeah, Whitaker in hospital. Yeah. yeah. Let yeah. me see. I think it is still. Otherwise, what else would they fight? It's such a stupid matchup to me. Do you think? Um, Obviously, Izzy's still going, thinking of going up, isn't it? No, he's going up. He is he's going, going up. He's fighting. Yeah, he's fighting Blackwich. Yeah, Uriah Hall. Like I feel like he might be a contender. Obviously, he lost against Costa, but if he beats someone else, like I don't know, Romero or Romero is never. I don't. I, I think like Romero's done out now, man. I think Whitaker's retarded, man. I love the guy, but the way he's saying he doesn't mind if he gets a title shot or not. He lost yeah. his opportunity to get one now. Izzy's going to fight Jan. Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah, I think I, read, I heard that somewhere. Well. I think it's because he said that he knows that he's up next, so he's not going to come like go like push for it. Do you know what I'm saying? Because he knows it's gonna it's inevitable. Because so he beat Conor. If Izzy's fighting Jan, then that means Whitaker's going to have to take a long break. No, but I don't think it's vacant, though. It's, it's not vacant, but he's going to have to take a long break until Izzy's back to fight again. Yeah. 
Because Dan is Dan are gonna let that happen. He will win it. Yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah, he can. Because he, he wants him to be double champ first and he then. Could. Yeah, yeah. Because even I think he's gonna knock Yan out as well, man. Is he too good? Knock Yan. Yeah. But you saw the Usyk, you heard about the Usyk fight, right? Usyk yeah, yeah. went up. He couldn't put down Chizora, bro. But it's Ch- but it's Chizora. Chizora is not like a like. He's not really an elite fighter, though. That's what I'm saying. Like Usyk is elite fighter, and he yeah, went up to heavyweight. Yeah, exactly. And he couldn't put out Chizora. So imagine Izzy goes up but can't put out guys like Jan. Jan is good as well. He is, good. He is very good. He is good insane he's strength. Like Izzy's, yeah. Izzy's levels. Like that guy, he's, he's too good. He's not going to get hit. Yeah, yeah, he's very good at keeping <clears throat> fires at his reach. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And he, he already has a size advantage. I don't think he's bigger than Jan, but he's probably level. But then, because he puts on weight, it could slow him down as well. It'll be good though. But yeah. it will be the same with John Jones as well, but let's see. I think it would be smart to put on weight. He's going up at a good time though because Jones going up to heavyweight and I know he doesn't want that smoke with John Jones at light heavyweight. Not yet. Yeah, not yet. If his hype train is going to get derailed. Oh, you think he's going to get? He's, he's going to lose then? No, I well, think he has a big chance of winning. But, uh, against Jones? Yeah, yeah. I think he has a big chance of winning but at the same time you don't really want to push forward that quick. That's a super fight to make in the future. Yeah. Well, maybe next year? Probably next year. In the, in the yeah, next year? Yeah. yeah. Maybe. It depends how Jones does at heavyweight. He might, whatever the plan is, if he's fighting straight for the belt, would you no, think he, is, he is. He would be if he was to go. Then Ngannou's been snitting. That's that's deeper than Ngannou, man. I think Ngannou deserves another shot. Apparently, Ngannou is split with his um, head coach. You know. Oh, you heard that? I heard that. Yeah. And, he, and he was he's saying that like, Ngannou's not a nice guy. And apparently, Ngannou's not grateful, and he's always expecting stuff, but like he's never given back. Is he expects it? people to like look out for him and train him for free, and not like get give any shout shouts or give anything back. Which I think is I can believe that to be honest. Why? Because. Just our mentality of people, they always expect things like they don't appreciate. Take, take, take. Huh? Yeah, take, yeah, take, yeah, take. Exactly, yeah. take mentality. Like, he doesn't understand like the detriment of that. Like yeah, in yeah. the society, like it's, we appreciate when we get when we get, get something and give something. You know it's two-way street, you know? Yeah, it's two-way yeah. street. Man. That's what I'm saying, man. We've given you all this free content. At least subscribe, follow the thing. Businessman over here. Yeah, but bro, I'm going to plug this thing, man. I'm trying to hit some figures, man. Trying to take, trying to take a couple man out of the hood as well, man. I ain't trying to be a Nagano out here, man. You know what I'm, I'm trying to be like a beef. I'm trying to bring the whole of Dagestan with me, fam. No, no one's there, fam. But yeah, man. The next event is dead, though. You see two five. Islam. No. Why is the next Khabib, bro? What do you mean? Islam's fighting. Yeah, on he's not fighting on two five five. He's he's fighting in two weeks on a fight night. He's that's what I'm saying. At like, least like that's something. He's gonna maul Odie. Who's the, Odie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What, then, has, is what, he, what, has he been cleared of? What they not COVID? Fight before? Yeah, they're fighting in two weeks. Less than two weeks. Were well, they not meant to fight before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. they were meant to fight. On the week, card, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They got flopped, that guy had Corona. Yeah, like, that would be a good fight, you know. Yeah, Islam, is, Islam is insanely talented. I think that's the plan because apparently um, Coach once, Coach Have was like... He's been knocked out. Yeah. By who? I, I thought his record was clean. No, nah, yeah, no. Nah. He's, he's got one knockout loss because the knockout was kind of dirty. In the yeah. UFC? Yeah, in the UFC. Oh, who was it? Oh, I can't remember. It was like a jab and then he just folded. <laughs> oh, that's deep, bro. Yeah, no, I love Islam. That's, that's my dog, man. What about Zubair? <laughs> he, he's not a great man. Yeah. You see what he did? He missed weight. And he was running around. I was running up until that point. He was running for, in the last round. He, lo- he, lo- he lost. He missed weight. Uh, he had a draw. Yeah. He's not great. What about Hamza? Hamza's the truth. He's fighting Leon Edwards. That's, yeah. that's a big no job. Magni, that's, the, that's, that's the same burn, isn't it? No Magni from snake, unranked though, to fighting like number two. No Magni got snake though. Yeah, that, that should be the fight to me. Yeah. Obviously, the yeah. thing with Leon Edwards is uh, he, got, know, he, got, he got turfed out of the rankings. Yeah. So yeah. Inactivity. Yeah. Yeah. So then they offered him Leon Edwards and he had to take it. He had to take it. So without that, you can join your brother in Bello, man. Fuck that. <laughs> oh, his brother's Bello. They're both apparently dickheads, but They're both wet, man. Yeah. They try acting hard and like just... He got rapped by Masvidal and thing, innit? Yeah. When he fought Darren Tua, like. From then, you, you can't come back from that. Yeah. How, how can you... He got disgraced after that, man. No one liked him. How can Masvidal have two knockouts in one night? I like... And that was his own backyard garden as well, you know. No one said, no. he didn't call up no goons, no nothing. Just Kate rolled up on his one. I lie. But yeah, that's enough of UFC 2. It's supposed to be a wrestling, yeah. a wrestling episode. Some like UFC always creeps up, man. But yeah, man. Uh, we, could do, we can actually do a sub, a, a little thing. When fucking CM Punk tried to come in, he tried to boy off the WWE and try to do his thing at UFC. Do you guys remember that? Do you remember, the, do you remember his lead up uh, to before he left the WWE? Pipe bomb and that. And then he's, yeah, he's the calm of sitting like the, the runway and there's chat bear shit for like two hours. Uh, to be honest, yeah, he had a point. He what was, was his point? I, I remember his point. <clears throat> this is roughly the same time where I started to stop watching wrestling as well. 
It was mad because he he was selling bare merch in it, like on the website and stuff. He was sell he was being even John Cena on the merch, but they weren't pushing him. So that like merch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. like merchandise in it, like all the CM Punk merchandise, the T-shirts, all that stuff was popping in it. Mm. And he was like, "Oh, I should get a WrestleMania event because he didn't, he hadn't had a WrestleMania, a WrestleMania event yeah. even to this day." Oh, is it at all? Yeah, no. What do you think of not, him as a not WrestleMania right? event? Sorry, like he hasn't main evented WrestleMania mm. ever. It's mad, yeah. How like these WWE like wrestlers, yeah, they fight for some dickhead belt, like, but it's everything scripted. But it's acting in it, like that's what I'm saying. It's just like it's a reality show, isn't it? That's why I take better drugs. I lie. I wouldn't say it's bad though. No like, ambition for it. Some everything's everything's done for them. They make more money than UFC fighters though. That's exactly yeah. what I'm saying. It is an accomplishment. No, it's not because oh, it's scripted. So scripted. But let me tell you why it's an accomplishment. Yeah, because you have to create you're, your you're, name to become a big person. Yeah, like you, person you guys are show. seeing it as athletes or or fighters or whatever. They're not seeing it as that. They're seeing it as like a package. How can I be the best actor? How can I have the best like gimmick? How can I make people like me? If, if 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 anyone could do it, then we could all be wrestlers, innit? Do you know what I mean? First of all, we haven't got the physicality to do it. But secondly, also no one said no one said that anyone can do it. Though. No, but that's the whole point. Like they're not fighting in terms of like, oh, I'm stronger than you, and you're stronger than me. They're fighting in terms of popularity. Like, oh, I can sell my story better than you. Do you know what I mean? It's like rappers, innit? So it's like who's better at acting? Yeah, but so there's, not, there's nothing wrong with it though. It's, it's like a, it's a physical brand of acting, innit? Because at the end of the day, they still like jump off shit. Beat each other up. Obviously, still hurts, isn't it? Hmm? It obviously, still hurts, isn't it? So yeah, he was just vexed that like, he didn't get oh, main event. He wasn't get the the, the push yeah, he that he needed. And when he did it, yeah, it's hard going there as yourself, isn't it? You got to create an alter ego, and it's almost like you're li- living a double life. Like, you're not really succeeding in your life, but you're ex- succeeding in another version of your life. If you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. I don't think it would bother me that much. I'm making money. But we, are you though? I go home and and I go home and I just live my life with my personal family. No, but then imagine, imagine really like you, you're training, like it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's no, like but you're training, thing. you're putting yourself out there, getting hurt, and you're just, an, ent- you're just, an entertainer. It just to be some dickhead, like no, but you get money out of it. That's the whole, at the end of the day, it's a job. Do you know what I mean it's like saying, like for example, yeah, let's say you're on a on, on a. No, but what if all these fans are taking you for a dickhead? Let's say that? you're on a, you're on a TV show that runs for a long time. Do you know what I mean you live that role, and when you get home, you just leave it. At, you leave it in the studio. Do you know what I mean? It is what it is. But obviously they just have to put more body work in. That's it. But that's, that's, it's not just that you can't just say that's, they, a, that's they, a big they, thing. They enjoy that though. They enjoy that though. Yeah. Surely WWE like stars must look at like UC fires and think like, that's, a, that's what a real fire is though. But I, I think they would look at their bank account and think I'm doing better. Yeah, they are like, I don't like, the only reason Brock even came to UFC is because he knew that he could get paid more but he could also become a champ. Yeah. It hasn't worked out for anyone else. Like look at Bobby Lashley. So that guy got swung. But he's still even tried him, I mean. Oh, the busy for sure. Yeah, he fought some bum. I think he been. I think he lost his all. Though. Yeah, so I feel like we're. Well, I don't know why we're feeling sorry for WWE superstars. Like they don't. I'm not feeling sorry for them. Like, this guy was like, they, they go home depressed because they're though, living man. a fake life. That's acting in it. Like so saying Leonardo DiCaprio is depressed because he has to act as many people. No, that's not. That's not. No, that's not the same. It is though because they're acting. I say it's serious here, but it's just not competitive. I think it's, it's yeah, but it's competitive themselves. in terms of like. Acting and storyline. I don't think like. it's a sport. That's down to them. It, it, is, it isn't a sport. It's sports entertainment. Oh, yeah. But yeah. Um, like with, with acting, it's like, obviously there's nuances, isn't it? Like, you get given a script. You can, like, your manager will give you a script and say, do you want to be a part of this role or not? And you can decide, yeah, I want to be a part of this role or not. That's, that's in WWE as well. No, but you have to choose a script and storyline and whether it flops or not is... Based like, on the audience. Same, same, the same, audience as, same as if you're in a TV show. It's based on the audience. Yeah, but if if you if you have a whack character, the writers the writers are gonna say, you know what, we're gonna wig that character off because well, this, this is more. No of one a, cares about it. Rustin is more of an investment because how many times can you flop and come back? With 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 all these TV shows, yeah, you can have so many so many good actors have so many bad roles, but but because they're good in a certain other role, people like give them a bypass. It's not the same with. Rustin's yeah, like I mean, we 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 can look at The Rock. He was ter- he got booed off the stage when he first came in. No, no, no. He, he got booed a few times. Yeah, yeah, a few you, you don't understand. People would like to boo. Then what did he? The well, nation of uh, the, the brotherhood. The, I was gonna say the nation of Islam. No, no, no. He was um, the na- was the nation of destruction. Of nation the of? dominance, something like that. Yeah, something, like that. something, something mad. Yeah, but you know when people are booing the WWE superstars, yeah, it's not because they hate them. It's because they realize that's a character that they're meant to not like. Do you know what I mean, it's like a, it's just a story. It's, I don't think it's that deep. Like getting booed on stages, they they're there as actors in it. It's like. For example, do you think Joffrey gets upset because people are people don't like him? That's his role. That's what he's meant to do. That's temporary. Though. Yeah, it's temporary for them as well. I don't, I 
don't think so because like, like you said, it's a lifelong thing. Like I don't think so. Honestly, because oh. kayfabe is finished now. No, like no one lives that life. And you know how Undertaker used to walk around being the Undertaker everywhere. Wrestlers don't care about that shit no more. They go home and they like they'll say their real name on the internet. They'll they'll post pictures with but people they're meant to be retirement. beefing. No, like during the thing, bro. During feuds, like let's say me and AB are beefing, yeah, on in the storyline, yeah? yeah, and then they'll go to a restaurant after the fight and take a picture and post it on Instagram, because people because people have grown up now and realized it doesn't matter; they're just acting in it. I remember people used to be like, um, like older older like cousins and relatives, and they used to be like, "Oh, wrestling's fake, man." And I used to proper cu- I used to proper be like, "No, man, it's real, man. Look, man, look at the way they're getting hurt." And I, yeah. and I grew up and I was like, "Bro, I looked in the mirror. I had to be like, you're a dickhead, fam." But even then, like when I. It is real. <laughs> well, it, even when I'm, I re- even when I realized it's fake, yeah, I just appreciate it for what it is. Like it just turned into something different. It's it used to be good. I haven't watched it in a minute, but I, show, yeah, like they they're doing what they do like just they, because they, it's scripted. Like, why, 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 like look how big they, why, they, are. Like they they go anywhere around the world. They could go to any country yeah. in the biggest stadium. And sell out the thing, fam. Yeah. They got a wrestling match though. in Saudi Arabia, fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Even the UK as well. Oh, too. I was, was meant to go to that this year, you know. I think I was supposed to go to that one as well. I think so. I would have seen you there, fam. I would have got. I, I, I would probably got some like, nosebleeds. I got nosebleeds as well. I wouldn't mind going like fifteen years. I think it's just experiencing it once in my lifetime. I just want to check it out. Yeah. Go in there. It. It's probably different when it's live, though. Yeah, like apparently you know, the, 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 the UK crowd is like, sick. Apparently huh? the UK crowd is sick because you know in the UK you do a lot of chants in it, yeah, yeah. like football chants and stuff like. That. So the bear cuss out there, and the yeah. superstars will interact with them. No, I was gonna say. Yeah. We need to do one about live shows, you know. We do, but how much can we say? No, like, oh, like the weekend. No, you fell off it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, but yeah, um, let us know who your favorite wrestlers are. Get us out. Uh, get on. Get us on Instagram. The Titan Talk. The Titan Talk. For give us a like, follow. Tell let us, mom to let us know who your favorite wrestler was. If you like the Kiss Ass Club, Rikishi and that. Like last guy and them man there. <laughs> This does run out of energy, fam. Man said, got, it, man said it was you uh, as well. He didn't even deny it. Like, <laughs> it was you as well. You don't have got a signed thong of Rikishi, so don't come at me. Ah, shut up, man. What's wrong with that? <laughs> I've got a signed entry. <laughs> and on that note. On that note. Goodbye.